Hi, I'm Bill McAnally with Touchstone Energy. Uh, together we save and uh, we're going to be looking at some uh, different wall sections. The first one we want to start with is uh, energy efficient framing or advanced framing, sometimes called optimum value engineered framing. A lot of different terms will show the different methods of uh, framing a wall and uh, trying to make the corners especially in your partitions warm where in the past they've uh, had a tendency to be cold and sometimes uh, very inefficient. Let's take a look at the top one. This is uh, the way to efficiently frame uh, outside corners on a home. The first, the top one shows normally we would have four or five studs in this area and in this case we use as a drywall backer a piece of oiling and strand board. You can use drywall clips, um, you can use uh, some wood framing which would take up more space, less insulation. Uh, so this is a good way to use up scraps. It's fast, it's efficient. Another way to do it is using a drywall corner bead. What you can see here is the drywall corner bead is a backer. So as the drywall comes in, this piece would be first. It would sit against the metal. The next piece would stay on the framing and that one would pin the other drywall in. So you can see the outside, if this is the outside of the house, you can fill this cavity completely with insulation. The next one down is the way we used to do it. The only reason that this board was really here was just as a drywall backer. And you can see that it left very little room for insulation. And what would happen a lot of times is an electrician would have to come from this cavity to this cavity. So they would have to drill through here and across this board. And a lot of times they would wrap the insulation up and then it would pull it down and you would have very little insulation. The other problem with this method is a lot of water would get in here during the construction period and it would get wet, wouldn't dry out, so the corner is very, very inefficient. The next one down is the way we used to do, in a way it's still framed a lot of times, is a wall partition. This is the interior wall butting against the exterior wall. By having three studs here, first of all, you're wasting these three pieces of lumber. There's no reason to have this, especially because you're having only this area with insulation. For that insulation to work correctly, it would have to be cut to exactly fit this. And you know what's going to really happen out there is they're just going to jam a piece in. And the same thing's going to happen as the one above. Electrician comes through. He has to get his wiring in, balls the insulation up, and then it's a very efficient spot. And so this area and this area here are going to be very cold and sometimes have some mold issues, especially if this particular area was a closet where there would be very little air movement. One way to handle that is to go ahead and put this 2x6 against a 2x4. This is one way, but probably the best way is to run a 2x6 two, two or 2x4 two across the cavity. And you can do that at the bottom, two foot, four foot, six foot. So they'd be running this way. You don't really have to have one at the bottom top if you don't want to. So you can just put it at two foot, four foot, and six foot. So you still get a lot of insulation in here. And if you can't get the, uh, the uh, drywallers to go for using a uh, corner bead for in here, go ahead and put in a piece of oriented strand board across there, if nothing else, because all it's going to do again is just hold the drywall. So this would be a very warm partition area. So try to keep in mind, if you have any uh, questions, you can always Google advanced framing or optimum value engineered framing, and there'll be a lot of pictures on how to frame all of these correctly. This is a huge saving, sometimes up to 20% of your energy savings comes from advanced framing methods.